I'm Jamie, Senior DevRel in Education here at N8N. Today I'm going to do a quick video on how to get N8N running locally using Docker Desktop. The installation is much the same between uh, Mac and Windows, but I'm going to be doing it on a Mac. First thing you need to going to do is go to docker.com and click on download Docker Desktop. If you're on a newer M series Mac, you want to select Apple Silicon. If you're on an older Mac, uh, you want Intel chip. Most uh, Windows machines, you'll be picking AMD 64, but if you've got one of the newer Copilot PCs, then you'll be picking ARM 64. So you go here and download. Pick. Once it's downloaded, you'll need to mount the disk image. Like any Mac installation, all you need to do is drag it into applications. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. If you're on a Windows machine, you are going to need to have admin access. You actually need admin access on um, all operating systems for Docker install because it needs root access. On Windows, it is a standard wizard. It will install WSL2, but if you already have that, it's a nice quick installation. So once you have Docker copied and you open it, now from our Docker installation docs, we're using the terminal to get Docker up and running. Because we're using Docker Desktop, I'm going to show you how to do it all in Docker Desktop. What you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to get your time zone, which you can get from this link here. Ours is Berlin, so that is Europe slash Berlin. Then we have these two commands you would run normally on the command line, but what we're going to do is we're going to run them within Docker Desktop. The first thing we're going to need to do is create the data volume. So you wanna click on volumes and click create volume. The reason why we're creating this volume is that's where we store all of the data for N8N. So if you upgrade the N8N image, restart your computer or anything like that, then your data will be persistent. So all your workflows will be there after a reboot. So you create the volume. The next thing we need to do is we actually need to get N8N. So you click on images and search for images and we've got n8n here we want to pull that image down you can run it from here however i like to pull the image down first and when that's done you can configure it to create the container now that the image is downloaded what we want to do is we want to run the image so if we come back to our configuration here we've already created the volume and now we need to actually create the container we do have some environment variables that we need to set up and that can all be done once we run. So under optional settings, this is where we're going to add all of this information. So let's name the container N8N. The host port is 5678. The host path is that volume we just created. And the container path is this one here, slash home, slash node dot N8N. Then we need to create some environment variables. The first one being generic time zone, which is Europe, Berlin. The second one is time zone, which is Europe, Berlin as well. And we have two more environment variables we need, which is enforce setting file permissions to true. And the last one is node runners enabled to true. That will give us an identical image as to what we have from the command line. So you click run. That will take a few seconds to configure. You now have a working N8N install, so you can register and start using N8N locally. You will have some limitations such as webhooks not being uh, usable until you create a tunnel, which is beyond the purpose of this video. But if you need that, let us know in the comments and I will do a video on how tunneling works. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy flow